felt it definitely felt good. I was very grateful for everyone supporting me. And honestly, when I look back at it, it wasn't necessarily like the the dive that felt the best or the score or the medal, but it was that time after when I came around the corner and for like 30 seconds, everybody just kept running up to me and hugging me and like that, that was the cherry on top of everything I could ask for. So I went into finals in second, but then your score gets wiped when you start finals. Um, I don't look at the scoreboard at all during the meet. I don't like to see the numbers. I try not to do the math. Um, I used to, but I don't so much anymore. Again, my mentality was just to have fun, go in with it. I was honestly expecting second or third. I just wanted to have fun. I was diving pretty well, which was fine, but so was everybody else. Um, it was kind of what, as expected. And then I actually, I didn't know that I had won when I did the final dive. I just heard everybody scream. It was great. And then Hannah did her final one and then everyone started really screaming. And then it was actually one of the Lehigh divers that came up to me and said, dude, like you just won. And I said, I, what? And she's like, yeah, you just won. And then the massive army people came over and started hugging me out, so it was great. I, it, I honestly could not have asked for a better ending, you know, I'd, I made the decision pretty early to not go to zones, even though I qualified, I just, it was kind of like the, the end was going to come at some point, and I really wanted it to be with my friends and with my team, but zones, it's definitely a smaller population, and as much as I, I love Danny to death, he's like a brother to me, I thought just kind of having the first season there all together, it would have been a lot of fun, um, and it, it was just amazing, like the support and the screams from the crowd, and it was all just very amazing. We know it's going to be a close game. We know it's going to be an intense game. Uh, but mainly that we have to make all the toughness plays. We have to get all the loose balls, rebound the basketball against them because we know they're going to be physical, and uh, just be ready when that moment, when it's a tight game, come down the wire to make those plays. We, we did not do what we needed to do to win that game in the end of regulation. Um, so then going into overtime kind of felt like we had new life. and. Uh, that, that we need, knew what we had to do to come out and get that game. We were ready to go. We weren't going to let it slip away from us twice. So um, so we went out and, and came out with a lot of momentum and energy. It's awesome. I mean, uh, it's, it's what you what you come here to do. And it's understandable it hasn't been done in so long because it's every single game is a tight game. So to be able to win two in one year is really tough. Um, so I'm just really proud of this group, um, this senior class. To be able to do that is awesome for us. Um, but we were really determined, came in ready to go. We want to, the, the goal every single season is to be playing your best basketball going into March. Um, but at the same time, it, it's it's kind of hitting the reset button and realizing that game happened. And it's, it's not going to have an effect on the next game we play. So, so making sure we come in ready to go and, and still trying to improve to, to get to our, our best in March.